My name is Nate Williams. I was with murder robbery. I was supposed to go to YA and be committed because I was only 17. But due to um, problems in the court, I was sentenced as an adult because I didn't know my rights at that time. So I spent 31 years as opposed to being released from a juvenile facility at the age of 25 years old. I was incarcerated in Chino at first, then I went from Chino to San Quentin, from San Quentin to Vac Vacaville, from Vacaville to Tehachapi, from Tehachapi to Tracy, which is where I parole from, Tracy DVI. Okay, the initial feeling going into prison was, it looked good on the outside, but once I got in, it was like I was I was on a slave ship. Going in, we all was, was, was handcuffed with shackles. They made us strip down, butt naked. And we had to sit and wait. And each person went up to the officer and gave his name and number and all that. And it felt like we were like cattle. Like we had to stand in line, butt naked. And I never experienced that being around a lot of people like that. So I felt dehumanized. Okay, I never really adjusted to prison life, but it was, I was always, I never slept until I was released. So I was always was on the edge and, and always alert. Um, I never adjusted in prison. Okay, it was many things that motivated me to, to make it through prison. The first one was uh, my sister. I, I had enrolled in airframe, air engine, vocational trade. Halfway through the program, my sister, you know, she encouraged me and told me that I could do it and not to give up. That was that was family support. And then I went through something with my father and my daughter. I was treating my daughter the same way my father was treating me. I went through the same thing with her, and I didn't want to be the same way with her. So I put her as a priority that I need to do the right things by her and myself and try to get myself out of prison. And then I... I was able to get good books like a book called um, Breaking the Psychological Distance of Slavery by Niamh Akbar. Um, another good book is Community of Thyself by Niamh Akbar. Another one was um, Message to the Black Man by Elijah Muhammad. And I just, at, when I started reading these books, these books opened my mind to a lot of things that I, that I was doing was wrong to my community and myself. And from there I started reading other, other books and, I became spiritual. I mean, it just led on to just just progress and progress and just tools and tools that I use even today, you know. I could have prevented from going into prison by asking for help. When I was eight years old, my father left me and told me to be the man of the house and take care of my mom and my sister. I didn't know what that meant because he was a man and my father, but yeah, he was leaving me. So, but I didn't know at that time the feelings and emotions that I was feeling were I was being rejected, unloved, and unwanted. And I think if somebody would have came and talked to me about those feelings that I was feeling, it might have changed the way I was raised. Because when he left, those feelings I got from gang members in my neighborhood, the love, the rejection, the unwanted, was replaced by that. But that also replaced violence and led me on a path of criminal activities. And it is very important to have a strong connection with the community because a lot of my success has been people within the community, the church. When I first got out, a gentleman that wrote letters to help me get out of prison took me to church, took me to his church. And I was embraced with the men of the church. The men of the church have given me money, have given me spiritual advisory, anything I needed, I had a bunch of phone numbers to call. My family support have given me a lot of things out here. Without that, I've seen people around me um, made wrong choices since they've been out. And had they had family or community, community support, it would have made a difference into helping a person to be more progressive I think, in my opinion, family support, community support is a must. It needs to be to help a person be successful out here. Okay, if you're on that path of going to prison or even just
just doing anything wrong in society. I always remember, remember me that you haven't seen nobody like me that was sentenced as an adult for 25 years to life and came back to the community to give testimony, to be there if you need help. But myself, I owe this back to the community, so that's why I do this. And I would advise you to really consider about things that we do in society because you can get away with a lot of things, but eventually you're gonna wind up with a life sentence or even dead. You know, you gotta think about every day is a choice you make. Even for me today, I, I still have choices to where I, if I do something wrong tomorrow or right now, I can wind up back in prison doing life. You know, and it's easy to get a life sentence. You don't have to even commit a crime to be sentenced. You can be in a car with somebody. You could be walking up to somebody and not knowing they have already did something. You being there, you're just as guilty as them. There's many people in prison that's never coming home just by being with somebody. So you don't have to actually do a crime to be convicted and spend the rest of your life in prison. My name is Nate Williams, and I belong to the village. Thank you. Wake up, wake up. Walk in the light, won't you wake up, wake up.